Now look here, South Africa is without doubt one of the best motorcycling countries in the world. If you haven't been here and like motorcycling, come here. I can't understand why naked bikes haven't really taken off in South Africa. But being the biggest naked bike fan on the bike show beside Matt, I have today brought a bike that has been out for two years and I haven't ridden it yet, but I was so excited to get hold of it. And here it is. The M, well not brand new, the 2018 MT-09. If you look on the side, it says MT-09. Now MT stands for Masters of Torque. Sounds like something from a Marvel film, but actually it's not, because it's got a Transformer face, and if you're in the knowledge, that's a Hasbro film. It's got nothing to do with MT, but it is interesting all the same. So, is this practical? Well, yes, and I'll tell you one thing, this has got the best seat on any naked bike ever. Why do naked bikes tend to have really rock hard seats? This is a big soft thing that actually embarrasses many adventure bikes. Beautiful rider position, laid back, smooth, little defection off the screen. And this engine with 115 horsepower and 90 Newton meters is so creamy smooth with this MT Masters of Torque. So linear from nowhere all the way to the screaming red line. It's a superb engine. Yes, indeed, this tasty little engine is as good as a four-season pizza. But what is this engine? Well, it's 847cc triple. The last time Yamaha had a 750, 850 triple was in the 80s with XS 750 and 850, which was a dreadful shaft drive thing, but still sounded nice, like this one does. Now, on the end of the crankshaft here, it says CP3. Anyone know what CP means? It means cross-plane crankshaft. A bit like Ross's bike, giving it that big bang firing order. Right, I'm going to go into first. I said, I'm going to go into first. Listen to this. <laughs> Braking is from previous R1s with radial calipers and fantastic suspension. Then again, Yamaha own Olins, so there's no excuse to make a bad front fork, is there? Talking of practical, how many naked bikes have two hard suspension, all from Europe? Now let's go red bike, orange bike, and silver bike. You all know who you are. Well, the MT-09 is even leans a little bit towards the soft side. I don't mind that. This is a road bike primarily. And if you're wondering how fast a naked bike goes, I've been told, honestly, that this goes well on the far side of 200 k's an hour. Do you really need to go any more than that? No. And if you like wheelies and madness, there is absolutely nothing better. Obviously, it's got a quick shifter. Does anyone care how a quick shifter works? It doesn't really matter, does it? Kills the ignition, makes seamless changes without closing the throttle. Unnecessary on some bikes, but this one is brilliant. Thankfully, the Yamaha electronics are so easy. I said so easy to use. European brands. And here's another good thing, a key. To be honest, I'm getting a bit fed up with these fob things. They're annoying, you lose them, give me a key anytime. So key, well done Yamaha, in here. Lovely little digital clocks, quite minimalist, but do you really need more? But the best thing is how easy, look, if I press mode, A, B, C, that's it. No program in the laptop. Traction control, one, two, hold for three seconds, off. What more can you ask? And you people know what I mean, don't you? You know, you're fiddling around and then it all resets. It is getting really annoying. The MR MT09, none of that. Practicality, yes again, from me. 
So when people say, ooh, it's not very practical, is it? It is. The thing will cruise all day at motorway, motorway speeds. You can do a track day, you can do wheelies, you can take your missus out. Because I've got none of this rubbish in front of your fairings, then you can just enjoy the breeze in your face. And don't forget, being in South Africa, we need breeze in our face. Well, I suppose Bill's right, absolutely. Uh, breeze in the face, what better thing than a naked bike? Although I do have to point out that that MT-09 has got a little aftermarket Yamaha screen on it, which is very, very effective indeed. So not completely naked. I have to say, Don, I've ridden that bike. Have you? Have you ridden the no, newest version? I rode the first one, and for some reason, I kind of missed the second one, although I believe it was nearly the same. And yes. then we got this one. Now, okay, the one thing about the first one, I absolutely loved it. Their motor was spectacular. Brilliant, yeah. And I said, they're one of the build bikes that are more exciting and well done, you got it yeah. right. It was brilliant everywhere, except when you needed suspension. Especially at the rear. The rear was a bit was soft horrible. and pogoey, it was horrible. wasn't it? You yeah. bounce it everywhere. I mean, look, if you go to a racetrack, the, well, you're not really supposed to do on those things, but the front also just... Well, Bill was on about really that, work. actually. I mean, you say you say it's not meant for that sort of thing. Uh, having ridden it now, the suspension is much, much better. The oh, motor good. is as, as good as it always was. But you could happily take that to a track day and enjoy yourself. Sure, you ain't going to get beat any lap records, but it's more than capable of yeah. doing exactly that. And you can beat the traffic on the way to work, beat the fun on a Sunday, yeah, all I, of it. I, I and it's it. a Yamaha, brilliant build quality. Now, before I get to the price, what would you say is natural comp I suppose it's natural competition. If you, the first thing that pops to mind is another triple, that's naked. And that's the Triumph, the 675 and stuff, but... Which is technically a smaller kind of motorbike. It is, and, it, and it's also much sportier, the, the street triples and that sort of thing. Yeah, that, that is more kind of proper sport bike, sport bike yes. not sort of... And consequently, much more expensive. I, I, the latest ones have just come in South Africa. I think you're looking at 200-ish, possibly, yeah, something yeah, like that. for that sort of thing. There we go. Hey, hey. I let them off because just out of shot they were wheeling past, which oh, is yeah. deeply irresponsible. I never want to I see mean, that again. Yeah. Yeah, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how much is the MT09 then? Well, this is the amazing thing. Yamaha's not known for being affordable, let's be honest. Quality, uh, quality product. 153, that is. All of it. <laughs> All of it. It's like, what Good bit point. have they left <laughs> off, you know? And it is a lot about, yeah. I mean, it's the same price as, uh, I'm just thinking, Husqvarna 701. Yeah. This is Vitpilon yes. 701, yeah, which, which is has a single one cylinder. engine and yeah, less, yeah, the yeah. smaller. Yeah. How did they do that? I don't know. Well, look at its natural competition. The things like uh, we used to race a GSX S Suzuki 1000. Makes more horsepower. That's a lovely bike yeah. as well. Also affordable. A little bit more expensive. And then Kawasaki also bring the Z900, yeah. which I still can't get my head around. They've got the retro one and then they've got the Z900. The, the yeah, but one. somehow with that one, the retro one is really good and we love it. And the other yes. one is sort of just not as know, not good. Yeah, but the problem with that, it's a four-cylinder streamer. Yes, it's yes. just not exciting. So it doesn't have the same character that the Yamaha does. It's, uh, it's absolutely true. So, so if you're in the market for a real-world practical bike, there's not much better than the MT-09. I think it's got to be said. Mm. Just before we go, though, I mean, we're on about the price. I want to let you uh, in on this bit of news. These are 2019 bikes. case 2020. Exactly the same thing. Yamaha has actually got some 2018s in stock that they haven't got rid of. And that's exactly the same again, but for a different set of stickers. 138 grand for a brand new bike. Yeah, I know. What? Yeah, yeah. So if you are in the market for a new bike and you like naked bikes, I suggest you get down to Yamaha dealer and either get this one or last year's one. I mean, 138 grand, you'd be mad not to. Okay, Don, that's it. We'll be back after the break when he will be riding a Ducati.